So by now, most of you guys probably already upgraded to Pro Tools 2018.1. I know I'm late to the party. I wanted to give it a while. I wanted to see, and I wanted to test some of the new functionalities that came with Pro Tools 2018.10. Before this was released, I did mention this. And one of the things that people were curious about was the 2018.1.0. Well, 2018 is the year, one is the month, and zero is gonna be the revision. So right now it's zero. And if they release another update this month, it'll change to one. If they release five updates, it had changed to five. You get the idea. So if you got to install 2018 and you feel your computer's a little sluggish, you might need to do a reset or reinstall, depending on what version of Windows you're using. You can actually just type in reset and check this out. It's going to give you a couple of options. So you have these two options, keep my files, remove apps and settings, but keep your personal files. And then you have remove everything, remove all your files, personal files, apps and settings. So the one I chose was keep my files. Now everything's running really nice, really solid. The only thing that I got to do now is image my drive and I'm good to go. All right, so let's dive into some of the new features. So I'm gonna go to the mixer window. I'm gonna create a new track. And this feature that I'm about to show you guys, I found this on my own. So if you go right here, you're gonna see EQ curves. So let's go ahead and open an EQ. I got Fab Filters Pro Q2. And I'm gonna open one of my presets. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Now I'm sure some of the DAWs out there have this already, but it's new to me, so it's pretty exciting. The one thing that does kind of suck, it isn't supported by every uh, EQ. The EQ has to have support for this functionality. I'll give you an example. If we go to EQ, we open API. It's not gonna have this capability. I can do this all I want. And as you can see, nothing. It'll help some people out there to understand what all these numbers mean and what they do. Another thing you might notice, over here you have this orange dot. I'm assuming that means that the plugin isn't supported. So if I get rid of it, it's not there anymore. Let's go ahead and open the standard uh, EQ. Check this out. Yes, that's exactly what it means. As you can see, it's green, so that means it's supported. So the next thing we're gonna look at is track presets. Now I knew this was coming with Pro Tools 2018. Check this out. So if you right click a track, you're gonna have these two options, save track preset and recall track preset. So let's go ahead and let's go to dynamics and let's select any of these, it doesn't matter. Check this out, it put this uh, compressor on and it loads up with this preset, drum attack. If we right click again, let's select channel strip, telephone. Let's see what happens. So now it loaded the channel strip plugin with the preset telephone, pretty nice. So you can do the same thing. You can create your own, you call it whatever you're gonna call it, you save and you're good to go. So that's pretty cool. Honestly, I haven't really messed around with that yet. I'm gonna definitely put it to good use. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is using Pro Tools without your iLock. Remember a couple of videos ago, I did make a video on this. They announced the capability of taking your licenses and storing them to the cloud. So I'm already logged into my iLock. I'm gonna scroll down this list and I'm gonna look for Pro Tools. What you wanna do, you wanna right click and you wanna deactivate your license. Press OK. So it's going to remove the license from the iLock and it's going to put it in your account. Check this out. Because I don't have a valid license anymore on the iLock, it's telling me that my subscription license has expired. So I'm going to continue. So I'm going to activate. Now it's going to ask you to sign in to your iLock account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I entered my credentials and this opened up. Open iCloud session. So I'm going to select OK. OK, so now I'm going to select Next. Pro Tools should automatically open. As you can see, Pro Tools is finally open. I'm able to open my tracks. As long as I have a valid internet connection, I'm okay. So let's go back to the iLock manager. So take a look at this. So now I have a new tab here, cloud. The one cool thing about this is showing me all the plugins that are currently available to work in the cloud. And that's pretty nice. Take a look at valid locations. You will see the iLock one, iLock two, and a computer, meaning you could activate those devices. But now you got this iLock icon, basically letting you know that this plugin is compatible with the cloud. So let's go ahead and close Pro Tools. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to take your license and put it back on your iLock. Now, normally you would think that you would do something like this, drag it, but it doesn't work. You can right click, you're not gonna have any of these options here. Just show details. So what you need to do, you need to right click, close cloud session. It's gonna tell you that it's successful. Click your name, go to available licenses, right click Pro Tools, activate. It's gonna ask you where you wanna put it. Of course, I only have one iLock plugged in at the moment. You wanna activate and that's all to it. So just in case you're wondering, if you're mixing or recording and your internet goes out, Pro Tools is gonna warn you. It's gonna give you a couple of minutes to save your work. 
until your internet comes back. So basically that's it. I showed you some of the new features within Pro Tools. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Also check the description. I'm gonna have some more information there. So if this is the first time watching one of my videos, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later guys.